Hey Kim, my name is Jessica from Peterson SEO. Today I had the privilege of speaking with Shannon and she thought you could be interested in this free video I'm about to give you. So um, the first thing to mention is that 70% of your organic traffic is going to come from your website. So it is really important that your website be fully optimized. And so today we're going to give you just a few tips that's going to help you with optimizing your website and getting that organic traffic. Okay, so we are on your website. Um, you do have a decent looking website. Um, it looks like you have separate pages for each of your services, which is exactly what you want. You have separate service area pages, which is exactly what you want. Um, I am confused why your home page is water damage. Um, your home page really should be a summary page of all the services that you offer um, and with their own keywords for each um, summary section. Um, and then water page should be its own back page. Now, um, for your home page, Google um, does not rank based on appearance. It's based on content. Content is key for everything. Um, Google does want a minimum of 1,000 to 1,500 words of content on your home page, which your water page is currently. Um, and that breaks down to 150 words for every keyword you're trying to target. Now, you do have a lot of content, which is good. Um, but your content needs to be focused around your local buyer intent keywords. Um, water damage restoration is considered a national keyword. Um, unless you are, your service area is the entire United States, you're going to get false metrics. Um, you're going to get people coming to your website, realizing that you can't help them and leaving. So it is really important you're focusing on those local buyer intent keywords, which are the keywords for um, the services that you're offering in each of your service areas. Um, they may not know the name of your company, but they're going to know the name of the service that they need, and that's what they're going to be actively searching. Um, so although you have a good amount of content, you do need to dial in that keyword strategy and make sure you have the proper amount of repetition to get your keywords index and ranking. Um, Google has robots called crawlers that go and index every single one of these pages. So it's really important that all pages have their own unique content and their own keywords so that you can be indexed for those keywords and be ranked for them. Um, I noticed that your service area pages have all the same content that just switching out the areas. So it's going to be important to redo the content on those pages and then really dial in on those local buyer intent keywords. If we look at a competitor, um, one of your top competitors in the Green Bay area is Elite Restoration. They have a decent looking website. Um, it's not fabulous, but it'll work. Um, they do have the separate pages for each of their services. Um, you can see they're focused on those local buyer intent keywords. They have the interlinking between pages. They do have a little bit of content here. Some more keywords. You need two to three in repetition, nothing in excess. Um, they also have their own separate pages for each of their service areas, um, but they're also missing the point here as you guys are on those service pages. So service pages should be like mini home pages, a summary of all the services you're offering in those areas. And any area that has any search volume should have their own page. 
these guys um, are talking about the areas they service, but not even talking about their services. So they're missing out on quite a bit there. Um, so meeting these guys should actually be fairly easy as long as you um, work on your content and keyword strategy. Um, you already have more content than they do, which is great. You need to make sure you have more than all of your competition. And then you need to support it by the right search engine optimization. So um, it does look like you've done a little bit of SEO, um, but you're currently ranked as six out of 100 in Google's trust flow, which means Google doesn't have much trust in your website. And that's 100% because you're referring domains and backlinks. Not all backlinks are created equal. So it is very important that um, you're getting the right type of backlinks because not all backlinks work with every type of business. Um, you need to make sure that they are do follows so that they share their power. Now, a referring domain is any website that provides a link to your website, whereas the backlink is the actual link coming from that referring domain with the intention to drive traffic. Um, if we look here, only 39 out of your 72 referring domains are do follows, which means only 39 out of all of these links are actually providing you any power. Everything else Google is looking at as spam. So it is going to be more, it's going to be very important that you're going out and getting those high authority, um, ones, which means they're directly re related to your business and that they're do follows. And you're going to need more in quality and quantity than your top competitors in all service areas. You've been indexed for 54 keywords and you're getting on average about 49 people to your website per month. So you're missing out on a ton of potential traffic. If we look at your keywords real quick, um, looks like you're ranking well for your brand. Um, there's a good buyer intent keyword. So you do have a couple of buyer intent keywords that are ranking um, for Appleton, Stevens Point, and Green Bay. Um, for water related. Water related. So all your other services uh, definitely need to work on those keywords as well. So you can rank for number one for all your services. Your backlinks, majority are going to your brand or website. So it's going to be really important that you're linking these to your actual local buyer intent keywords on all your pages, your service pages, homepage, and service area pages. So each of those pages can rank to be on the top of Google. So you can be found for all your services in all of your service areas. Looking at your competitor, they have a small rating of a seven with over 600 backlinks, um, which just goes to show you that not all backlinks are created equal. Um, so out of their 111 referring domains, 84 are do follow. So you would need more than their 84 um, to beat these guys and making sure that you're tying them to the right keywords. Um, they've been indexed for 188 keywords and they're generating over 160 people to their website on average per month. So they have less content, but their keywords are more dialed in and their backlinks are linking to the keywords. So they're ranking higher and they're getting more traffic. Um, and then the last piece of this is this Google My Business section or Google Maps. Your goal should be to be in the top three of this section in all service areas and for your relative keywords because 30% of people go straight to the maps and don't go anywhere else. So when you're not listed in this section here in the top three, you send all those leads to your competition. Now there are a number of factors in getting in the top three, but the most important are citations which is the name of the business, address, phone number, and website, and listing those in a variety of places like Yelp, Instagram, Yellow Pages, Facebook, etc. And so you're going to need a lot more citations than your top competitor. And when you follow all of these tips I provided you today, 
your website can be number one across Google for all of your services and service areas using those local buyer intent keywords. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I really hope that you found it helpful and you can start applying these tips and gaining more organic traffic. If you have any questions, you can give me a call at the number on the screen and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to hearing from you soon.